Hello students, this is Dr. Anita Raj, your chemistry mentor, welcoming you for one important session in surface chemistry. Today we shall see about the absorption theory of heterogeneous catalysis, mean the mechanism of heterogeneous catalysis, okay? But before going into the topic, you should know what is heterogeneous catalysis. Actually, the catalysis in which the catalyst and the reactants are present in different phases is called heterogeneous catalysis. Example, a good example for this heterogeneous catalysis is hydrogenation of unsaturated compounds by finely divided metals like nickel, palladium, platinum, etc. See here, this nickel, palladium, platinum are the catalyst. These are the catalyst and they will be existing in solid state. Okay. Actually, this theory typically involves a solid phase catalyst. So, this will be involving the solid phase catalyst and gaseous phase reactants. Okay. Actually, we have different steps in this heterogeneous catalysis. In the mechanism of heterogeneous catalysis, we have different steps and specifically we have molecular adsorption in that and we have reactions and also desorption occurring at the catalyst surface. Okay. Also, a cycle of molecular adsorption, a reaction, desorption will be occurring on the surface of the catalyst. Okay. This theory of heterogeneous catalysis can be explained on the basis of adsorption. Theory. Of course, this theory involves various steps and we are going to see one by one with a good schematic representation. Okay. Actually, these are all the various steps that are involved in this heterogeneous catalysis. The first one is the diffusion of reactants to the surface of the catalyst. See, these are the uh, two reacting molecules. These two reactants will be diffusing to the surface of the catalyst. And this is the catalyst and this catalyst will be having free valences. Okay. So, the valences are represented like this. So, the solid catalyst will be having the free valences and the reactant molecules are approaching or uh, diffusing uh, to the surface of the catalyst. And what happens next? Adsorption of the reacting molecules on the surface of the catalyst. So, the reacting molecules are getting adsorbed on the surface of the catalyst. Okay. So, next occurrence of chemical reaction of, on the catalyst surface uh, through formation of an intermediate. Okay. So, an intermediate will be formed. An intermediate will be formed and this is because... Uh, a chemical reaction will be taking place. Actually, these two reactant molecules are getting absorbed onto the surface of the catalyst by weak Van der Waals forces. So, it is easily breakable, okay? So, through weak Van der Waals forces. This is called as physics option, okay? Chemical reaction takes place between the reactant molecules, okay? So, an inter, so that an intermediate product will be formed. Understood? So, what happens in the next step? Desorption of the reaction products from the catalyst surface. So, a reaction product is formed not a product is formed and what happens it starts to desorb from the catalytic surface so the reaction product will start to desorb from the uh, catalytic uh, surface so since because this bonds are very weak when the walls force this can easily detach this reaction products can be easily detached from the surface of the catalyst okay so desorption of the catalyst surface occurs so that this catalyst will be now free enough to to accept the a new reactant products on the surface understood so, this reaction products now start to desorb. Now, what happens in the next step? Diffusion of the reaction products away from the catalytic surface. So, now the a product is formed here. A bond is between A and B here. And the product is formed and it gets diffused or it gets desorbed from the surface of the catalyst so that the catalyst is free and now having free valences to accept the new reacting reacting species. Can you understand? So, this is these are the different steps, very important different steps involved in the mechanism of heterogeneous catalysis. Okay. Now, I am going to explain this heterogeneous catalysis using an example. Okay. Now, I am going to explain the mechanism of heterogeneous catalysis by taking an example, sulfur adsorption of sulfur dioxide and oxygen on the surface of platinum. Okay. See here, the sulfur dioxide and sulfur oxygen, it's the first step, it's getting it's approaching the surface of the catalyst, okay? First, it is approaching. Now, the second step, it is uh, sulfur dioxide and oxygen are getting adsorbed on the surface of the platinum by physical adsorption or weak Van der Waals forces, okay? What's the third step? Reaction takes place between this oxygen and sulfur dioxide. So, that a reaction is taking place and a bond is formed between the oxygen and the uh, sulfur dioxide. Now, we are this sulfur dioxide is getting converted to sulfur trioxide, okay? This is getting cut. This is nothing but sulfur trioxide. This is a sulfur trioxide is formed. Okay. A sulfur trioxide is formed. Now, after forming sulfur trioxide, it starts. That's the fourth step. It starts to desorb from the catalyst. Okay. The so sulfur dioxide trioxide will be starting to desorb from the catalyst. And, and, uh, and then last step, it diffuses out. Okay. It diffuses sulfur trioxide. It diffuses out of the uh, platinum surface. Okay. 
leaving behind platinum free. Here, this platinum surface is free enough to accept the new reacting species. Understood. Now, and this heterogeneous catalysis is also having merits as well as demerits. Okay, what, so what are the merits under heterogeneous catalysis? This theory explains why the catalyst remains unchanged in mass. See what how much amount of catalyst you are using in the beginning, the same amount of catalyst will be regained back. Understood. So there will be no change in mass. Okay, there will be no change in mass and the chemical composition. Chemical composition will also be the same till the end. Okay, chemical composition will also be the same till the end of the reaction. And it is effective even in small quantities. See here, even if small quantity of catalyst is used, then in that case also the reaction will be very effective. Okay, so these are all the merits coming under heterogeneous catalysis. Even though we are having certain merits, we are having demerits also. Actually, this theory does not explain the action of catalytic promoters and catalytic poisons. Okay, so that's a very important point. So this heterogeneous catalysis is unable to explain the action of catalytic promoters and catalytic poisons. Okay, well, fine students. I hope you might have understood what I have taught today. Let me meet you with another important topic in my next session. Until then, it's Dr. Anitara, Geochemistry Matter, signing off from it. Thanks for watching.